And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. It's a slick morning across Jackson right now, taking a live look out at Jackson Town Square right now. Take a look at those roadways, pretty much covered in snow, lots of sli slick spots due to the snow that did move through for the overnight. And slick roads will also be seeing across the Snake River Plain, although they may not be covered with snow, this morning definitely patches of black ice are possible. We'll be dry throughout most of the morning. I think we'll have the wintry mix of rain and snow building in by about the afternoon hours. We'll also turn windy. We'll have winds between about 20 to 30 miles per hour. The wind will persist into tomorrow, but as far as the snow goes, looks like it'll taper off during the morning. We should even be able to see some sunshine later on tomorrow afternoon. Storm Tracker indicating that snow that did move through for the overnight. It moved through the Snake River Plain, and it's moving into Jack, moved through Jackson as well. And as we pan out, we'll be dry again throughout the morning, but a lot more moisture will be building in, coming in from the southwest as we move throughout the day. This is what's going to be producing a lot of rain and snow across the Snake River Plain, and then all snow for the Upper Snake Highlands in western Wyoming. As I time that out in the feature tracker for you around seven o'clock this morning again dry across Pocatello Blackfoot Idaho Falls Island Park and Driggs could see some morning snow showers and then by about 12 o'clock clouds increase and that's when the chance for some rain and snow will build into the Snake River Plain notice it does move in and over the I-15 corridor by about five o'clock so if you are traveling definitely be aware of that rain and snow indicated by the shades of green shades of pink indicating mixing all snow, actually heavy snow across the highlands in western Wyoming by about 9 o'clock tonight. And it will be very heavy for the overnight, even across parts of the central mountains near Sun Valley, seeing that snow building in. And that rain and snow will continue throughout the night. And there is some winter storm warnings and also advisories that you should be aware of. There is a winter storm warning in effect. This is for the upper Snake Highlands, also the eastern Snake Highlands, and also for western Wyoming near Jackson. That also includes will be our parts of the central mountains as well out by Stanley, even by Ketchum as well. Anywhere from about 5 to 10 inches is likely for most locations across the higher elevations, the Teton Grove Out Mountain Ranges. I'm thinking between about 12 to 24 inches for those mountain ranges. Also, when you're traveling around across the mountain passes, they'll be very treacherous as that heavy snow will be building in later on this afternoon, continuing into the evening. There's also winter weather advisory in effect until 6 o'clock Saturday morning. This actually includes the upper half of the Snake River Plain, even down by Montpelier, even just south of Pocatello by Malat City, anywhere from about one to five inches of snow is likely for most locations. Anywhere upwards of about 10 inches of snow is likely for some mountain ranges around the eastern Idaho. As far as temperatures go right now, we're seeing temperatures hovering right around freezing, which is why you could be seeing those patches of ice on the roadways. It's 34 degrees right now in Blackfoot, 33 degrees in Idaho Falls, 36 degrees in Pocatello. And as we move throughout the day, temperature is not really rising too much. We'll be in the upper 30s and lower 40s across the Snake River Plain. Again, we'll be dry for most of the morning, but then the rain and snow mix will build in later on this afternoon and will continue into the overnight. We'll have a high temperature of 41 degrees today in Pocatello, slightly cooler than yesterday. It'll be 40 degrees in Blackfoot, 38 degrees in Idaho Falls. Western Wyoming, st still pretty cool out there, seeing those 30s perfect temperatures for some snow that will build into your area later on today. As you look ahead to this evening for those low temperatures, mainly in the 20s, hovering around freezing for some locations. It'll be 31 degrees tonight in Pocatello, 29 degrees in Blackfoot, 28 degrees in Idaho Falls with a rain snow mix likely on that seven day forecast across Pocatello rain and snow building in later on this afternoon continuing into the overnight it'll be windy today winds between about 20 to 30 miles per hour which will continue into tomorrow with a chance for snow showers lingering during the morning I think we see some sunshine by the afternoon mainly sunny on Sunday temperatures pretty cool in the mid 30s and across Idaho Falls wintry mix possible later on today chance of some snow showers on Saturday during the morning and then we'll see some clearing in the afternoon. The winds continue through Saturday, but then on Sunday, it'll be nice out there. Expect a mainly sunny sky Sunday and Monday with high temperatures in the lower 30s. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs expect snow today to continue through tomorrow with temperatures in the lower 30s, mainly sunny on Sunday and Monday with temperatures in the 20s. For the Central Mountains, expect a rain and snow mix for today with high temperatures in the 40s and then temperatures dropping into the 30s through the weekend. 